one thing that these leggings aren't is lacking space. I have my phone and syringe in there, a full bottle of omeprazole in there, book here, feed there. And yeah, today is the start of the video where Merlin and I very bittersweetly are moving farms. And to be honest, I wasn't gonna start this video until the weekend when we're moving, which is either their Saturday or Sunday, depends on when my friend is available. But I actually decided that I want the lead up to it as well, just for my own memories. So let's grab Berlin, we'll hop into today's prep for moving and we'll talk a little bit about why this move is taking place. So the first thing that I'm doing today is to give him some omeprazole. It is essentially a ulcer, well, it's an ulcer treatment, but it's also preventative. A lot of people will have their horses on omeprazole during shows. Merlin was born on this farm. He's lived the first five years of his life here, and he hasn't been off property that much other than three times for riding and to go to the vet. Because this is going to be quite a, I don't wanna say it's gonna be a stress-inducing thing, but you know, moving him to a new home, He's not gonna see these friends again. He's gonna meet new friends. I just wanna make sure that I'm doing everything for his tummy to make sure that we're setting him up for success. Today's Wednesday. We're potentially moving on Saturday. I'm gonna start giving it to him tonight, which is three days before we're leaving. If it, we end up moving Sunday, four days, it's not gonna hurt him to be on it for an extra couple of days. Come on now. This is not going very well at all. I definitely need to get a different syringe for tomorrow. This is one that I had left from a couple of years ago when I had to give Merlin some needles. And it's like, it's like that. It's not like a proper syringe. So I need one that actually goes in. It has been a while since you've seen me or this guy. We've been doing fine. There's just been, as I explained in the last four videos that I've made over this weird period in my life, there's just been a lot of things going on. We're getting to a point now where things are calming down, aren't they? Yeah, and I'm feeling ready to start riding again and putting into motion some exciting plans that have been in the pipeline for a few months now. And those plans are that Merlin and I very bittersweetly are moving farms. Oh, I feel like so many times when people talk about moving barns and things like that, there's some huge drama and whatever, and that's not the case here. This place has been my home away from home for the last five years. I've learned so much while I've been here and I've grown a lot as He's being hilarious. Yeah, I've grown a lot as a horse person. The reasoning behind this is, well, there's a few reasons. One, financial. I was getting really, really burned out. Oh my God, this plane is coming again. Whatever, you're just gonna have to put up with the sound of the plane flying above. Yeah, I was getting really, really burned out doing chores on the weekends. And I did chores in exchange for a discount off my board. The place where we're moving is more of a DIY style yard. So it's full board in terms of like, he's a hoat, hi, hi. He's gonna be out in a herd. Are you kidding me? He's going to be out in a herd with, I think six other, oh my God, with like six other friends and like beautiful, beautiful fields with grass and a lovely shelter, 24 seven hay, really, really nice water, like automatic water. Oh my God, you are so chaotic. So anyways, it's more DIY in terms of the fact that board is a little bit cheaper because they don't do feeding for outdoor horses. So I'm responsible for buying and prepping and, and feeding them. And I go out so much anyway that I'll have no issue getting him fed every day, which leads me to another point and another reason why I'm moving is because the barn that we're moving to is actually the barn that a familiar face on this channel keeps her horse at. So it, I've kind of hinted at it in recent-ish videos, but indeed, Mer Marilyn and I are going to be moving to the same barn that Natalie and Mickey are at. Merlin and Mickey are actually gonna be pasture buddies. So who would have thought even a year ago, it was about a year ago now that I went out and met Mickey for the first time. When we went on that trail ride, Natalie and I talked about how we missed having someone to ride with and the kind of feeling that we had when we rode together that night was the kind of thing that we missed. And here we are making it come true. So that's another reason for moving is that Natalie recently moved to this farm in March, I think. And she really, really loved it. And I went with her 
when she went to look at it and I fell in love right away as well. It feels like the right move at the right time because my current farm is primarily a dressage barn and while there is jumps, there's a lot of things that I want to be able to do with Merlin and his training that if I were to stay here, I'd have to trailer off property for. And I don't have a trailer currently, you know, it's in the plans for the next few years. I'd like to get an SUV and a European style trailer, but it's not in the cards quite yet because your girl has thousands and tens of thousands of dollars of student loans to pay off before she can get a new car. And basically the new place is targeted more towards jumping. There's a couple of outdoor riding arenas. There's an outdoor grass jump ring. There's an indoor arena, much like the one we have here. Really, really nice coverall, which I love. There's a racetrack for conditioning. There's access to trails. There's even a few cross country jumps. So it's the perfect place for Merlin and I to move to in the next phase of his training. And it's also a lot closer to the local show venues than our current farm is. So it's very, very bittersweet. And I thought about it for months and months and months, but it's one of those things where there are just a few different things coming together at the right time. I think it's such a wonderful thing that I've had such lovely experiences at this farm that saying goodbye is so hard. I think a lot of people end up leaving boarding barns and they're like, thank God that's over and blah, blah, blah. But that's very much not the case here. I love it here so much and I thought about it long and hard not just for me but mostly for him because obviously like he is my main priority. Well one of the horses in this herd Merlin has been in the same field with him for the last four years. It hurts my heart to think about moving him but I also know that the, the herd he's moving into is all geldings and there's some around his age and, and Natalie's horse Mickey's very playful so he's gonna have some new buddies to play with. I'm gonna be changing up his nutrition a little bit so we're gonna be trying a forage only diet with him because he gets all of the food he needs in terms of calories from his hay. He, he's, he's a very good doer. He just needs a little bit of help. <laughs> he just needs a little bit of help with his mineral balancer. So he's been on Mad Barn Omneity for a while now and I'm switching him over now to alfalfa pellets, so soaked alfalfa with the omneity. And then I'm gonna slowly build up his nutrition from there. So I'm doing a lot of research. I'm gonna talk to a nutritionist from Mad Barn. And I know one thing that I'm gonna add, for example, is salt. I'm gonna try out spirulina once he's moved. I just wanna get him moved first and then settled in before I start screwing with his nutrition too much. There's been a lot of appointments in the recent weeks. He had a vet appointment yesterday. He's had his Coggins, he's had his last needles, he had a, his main core vaccine back in March, and he had his Potomac and rabies vaccine uh, recently. So his hoofs have been done. I already have an appointment set up for Canada Day at the new farm with his new farrier. So unfortunately, our wonderful trimmer doesn't service where we're moving. Luckily, the rest of his team travels to where we're going, so his body worker, his saddle fitter, they all service the area that we're moving to, which is fabulous. And yeah, I feel like this is a really bittersweet but exciting new chapter for Merlin and I. He's had much of the last, well, basically since mid-December off. I did a little bit of work with him in February and March, and then a lot of things happened in my life and I just needed to take a break from riding and I've taken much longer than I anticipated but I feel like it's done me good it's done him good he looks he looks incredible but once we move I'm gonna give him probably a week to settle in without riding him but during that time we'll do lots of exploring in hand just getting him used to the new place and then we'll start getting him back into work and getting him used to the new places and this is what he'll be getting for feed once we move I've mixed three cups of soaked alfalfa in with the omnity so before we get too much into the next few days I actually do have a few clips from things I've done recently to prep for the move like going to Greenhawk and doing some cleaning that I'll just throw in here because I was going to make a completely separate video about getting ready to move but that just feels excessive to me so we'll put it all into one okay so I only spent about 30 more dollars than what I was planning and I only bought one extra thing so I got my grooming bag which to be honest is bigger than I thought it would be but I think it's going to be perfect I've got a sea tub and then I bought him some fly spray it was on sale normally they're like $45 and it was only 30 so that should do me for the summer and I have to sort through that and hopefully just to declutter a little bit so that when we move farms I don't have a million things so I've gone through the two top drawers and then this bottom drawer is literally just first aid stuff left from his surgery which was three years ago I've got stuff I have to clean because I had mixed 
bloated shampoo bottle in the top drawer. Stuff I need to wash, stuff I'm gonna get rid of. So some stuff is gonna, like that stuff is gonna come home to clean. This is my ride on fly mask. And then I've got a few, three fly veils that need to be washed. Grooming stuff, fly spray, boots that need to be washed. So there's a lot of stuff that has to be cleaned. Extra gullets for his saddles. So I don't really know what video to fit this into. So I'm just gonna put it in this one. I've come out to the back of Merlin's Field, one of my favorite places on the farm, to do a little bit of an unboxing. So a couple of weeks ago, I was reached out to by a new Canadian company on Instagram called Equestrian Essentials. They are doing a four times yearly equestrian subscription box that is based in Canada and that sources products from small Canadian businesses, which I love. So in my equestrian shopping, as much as I can, I try to support small Canadian businesses because I just find that they do such incredible products and they deserve my support. And I've been wanting to try an equestrian subscription box for a while, but there just hasn't been anything based here in Canada. Canada. It isn't once a month, it's once every three months. The price tag is a little bit steeper. I think it's about $120 for a box, but you get seven to 10 items and it's they're of a higher value because it is only once every four months. So if you were doing like a monthly one for $30, it would be the same price as doing one every four months for $120. I have no idea what's inside. I know one product because they did a little bit of a sneak peek on Instagram and I will say perfectly transparently that I haven't been paid for this but they did provide me the box for free in exchange for some social media content and with the full knowledge that if I didn't like it I wouldn't have to post about something that I didn't like and that for me right away was a big green flag because so many companies will tell you what they want you to say rather than letting you give your open and honest opinion so I'm going to do an unboxing and if you find that this kind of thing interests you, I will put the link here and I'll also put it in the description below. I don't have a discount code, but I do think that for what they are, they're really reasonably priced. So when you open up the box, you get a little card that has a QR code that I assume leads to the website that has info about the products. And then a little thing here with another QR code to leave a review for $10 off your next one-time box, which is super cool. We're first gonna start with these treats, which are from the Delighted Pony, which is adorable. Unfortunately, the bag is broken, but that is A-OK. -okay. Absolutely adorable little donuts. I assume that they're made from some kind of molasses or something like that. Then we have a bottle, ah, of Ecolicious Moisture Maniac Mane and Detangling Infusion. So I've been wanting to try Ecolicious products for a while. They're a Canadian brand that's like all natural products. So they do a fly spray, they do pretty much everything under the sun. So this is really, really, really cool. So we've got Waldhausen Fly Fringe. So this is super cool, it goes on. I assume you could put it on a bridal or a halter. I've never used one of these before, but I think it could be really cool to have to put on bridles for when you're going on a trail ride or something like that. This one is warm blood size, so it'll fit Merlin for sure. Now this, I'm not actually sure what it is. I think it's one of those shedding blocks. So I'm definitely going to be looking this up and seeing what it's about because I've seen these and they seem to work really well. So I'm excited for that. Oh, I've seen this before. Luxie Charms. They're also a little Canadian bridal charm brand and this is adorable so the bridal charm matches the treats which is absolutely adorable then we have pure organic spirulina for dogs and horses this is a trial size and it's to support proper immune function and respiratory health so this is actually the product that i had seen a sneak preview of with this move, I am taking charge of Merlin's nutrition and I'm gonna try switching him to a forage-based diet. So to start out with, he's gonna get soaked alfalfa with his Mad Barn Omnity supplement or balancer, whatever you wanna call it. And then from there, I'm gonna add in extra stuff. So I know for sure I'm gonna add in some salt, other things I'm gonna go through. So I actually do want to try spirulina, so this is great. And then if I like it, I can continue to purchase it. So this is perfect. We have some info sheets. So we've got two pole exercises. 
which is super cool. A page from Evolution Counseling. So this is kind of an info page about self-talk and things like that. Oh my God, so I don't know where that cut out, but basically I am super happy and thrilled with the contents of the box. I'm gonna go give Merlin one of the treats right now and see if he likes them. So yeah, like I said, if you're interested in checking out Equestrian Essentials, definitely go check out their website. First of all, I'm just honored that they offered to send me in a box in exchange for a review and some content. It's an absolute honor. I'm very much not an influencer, so the fact that any company would wanna work with me is a little bit of a pinch me moment. And yeah, I definitely think that I will be buying another one in the future. Money's gonna be tight over the next few months, so it probably won't be the September box, but it might be the December box. And I just think it's such a cool, idea there's nothing like it on the market in canada and i hope that it goes really really well for them because it's such an incredible idea oh my god so i just sprayed some of this stuff into merlin's tail and one it works like a charm and two the smell it's like a citrusy smell beautiful so do you like the treat oh we do like the treat Oh, you've never really had a treat like that before. You like? Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, there's a little thing. Oh my god! So cute! So welcome to Thursday. As you can see, the weather is looking a bit ominous. I just heard thunder. So Merlin's feed, he's had his omeprazole for the day, got a new syringe, works much better. His feed is soaking. So I'm just waiting another couple of minutes for a bit more of the water to soak up. And then he's gonna have that. I worked from office today, so I don't really have the energy to do anything super huge. Oh, there's thunder. I don't have the energy to do anything super huge in terms of like cleaning or anything like that. What I have done is I'm going to bring my bridles home and that way all my tack will be home tomorrow night I'm gonna do a big clean of my tack I'm gonna bring his halter home and clean it because we're moving to a new farm I just want to make sure that I clean everything really good I also got a new brush box as you would have seen so I want to make sure my brushes are nice and clean before I put them in there we're getting closer I'm starting to feel those like nervous jitters but I'm really really excited and I'm also just oh there's the thunder. We apparently have a tornado warning, which is not great. So I'm gonna give him his feed, give these guys hay, and then I'm gonna go home. I'm trying to get home before the lightning starts. And this boy is taking his sweet old time to eat his food. Like truly, hurry up, please. Well, we got caught in the rain, but, refreshing. Welcome to Sunday. I am on my way out to the farm to give Merlin his feed and omeprazole and I'm going to do my last little bit of cleaning and bringing stuff home. So my car is going to be very full. I've already brought my saddles home. My bridles are in the back so I really just have to bring grooming stuff which I'm actually going to leave at the barn because I'm bringing stuff home today, but I might not be moving until next Saturday. Our moving date is still not 100% certain. It's either gonna be tomorrow, which is Monday in the evening, or Saturday, like the following Saturday, so six days from now. And you might say, Caitlin, why can't you go any other night this week? And my response is because we have a heat wave. So unfortunately, the Ottawa Valley is notorious for having ridiculous humidity. And with the daily highs that we're gonna be having starting on starting tomorrow, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday especially, there's one day where the daily high is going up to 35 and that's without humidity. With humidity, they're saying it could go as high as mid 40s Celsius, which is insane. Thankfully, we don't have to deal with that kind of weather very often in Ottawa. When it's gonna be more than like 28, 29 degrees, it quite often comes in a wave where we have really, really hot weather for like three or four, maybe five days. And then a cool front comes in and we'll often have like a rain or thunderstorm. So yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday would not be safe to both to move him and also to introduce him to a new 
heard where, you know, there might be running around and things like that. And then we could do Friday night, but if we're gonna do Friday night, we might as well just do Saturday morning. So, Monday night or Saturday. Whether we go tomorrow is all gonna depend on the weather because it is gonna get warm tomorrow. It's a relatively short trailer ride. It's just under an hour and you know the vents will be open and we'll be on the highway so travel wise it wouldn't be too hot and in terms of introducing him to the new herd by the time he would arrive it would probably be 7 7 30 in the evening and the hottest part of the day would have passed and it'll be relatively cool so in other words if the weather goes the way that the forecast says it's gonna go then tomorrow will be fine and if not as quite often i don't trust the weather forecast in this area because of the humidity if it gets way hotter than expected we'll just just move on Saturday. Just in case the move does happen tomorrow, I'm bringing a bunch of stuff home today. I'm not gonna be able to bring all of it home. There's like his winter blankets that will need to stay for a little bit and that kind of thing. So I will be going back to the farm to pick up the rest of my stuff. But I figured that it would be handy to grab most of my stuff from the barn so that if we do move tomorrow, great, I have my stuff. And if not, throughout the week when I have some spare time, I can do some tack cleaning and that kind of stuff and I have everything at home that I need. So this is most of the rest of my stuff, literally just this. I crammed everything from my three drawers into there. These have like dried gooey shampoo on them so I have to clean them before I put them in there. And then just his fly spray and his fly sheet, which is clean. And are you kidding me? Stop. Well, Mepra's all given and supper in progress. So this is possibly his last supper here. Yeah, this is by far the most horse girl thing I've ever done. The bath bombs are working a treat though, so. So spoiler alert, we ended up moving on Monday. Merlin's now been at the new farm for five days. It's Friday and he moved on Monday evening and he's doing really well, but I'm gonna put the move and our first week at the new farm into a separate video. So obviously I didn't have an outro for this video. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're as intrigued about the idea of a Canadian equestrian subscription box as I am. If you wanna check them out, visit equestrian essentials.ca. I really, really enjoyed every single item in the box. Some of the stuff like the bridal charm and things like that are not necessarily something that I would naturally flock to, but it's adorable. And I've put it on Merlin's bridal and it's just, it's so cute. I'll have a reel up on my Instagram sometime this weekend. So if you want to check that out, it'll be there. So there's going to be lots of videos coming out in the next little while, because as I'm finishing the edit on the moving prep video, I have another full video to edit and one in progress that I'm finishing filming tonight. The next one is quite a bittersweet and kind of sad one because it's the last few little rides that I had on Eve. Like I say a million times in what's going to be the next video, if I had the money I would buy her and bring her with me, but it's just not in the cards. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Tonight I'm going out to the new farm and I'm hopefully going to work with and maybe get on Merlin for the first time there and I'm just really excited. So if you would like to see more videos and follow us on our journey at our new farm with Natalie and Mickey, then definitely hit subscribe. Come Comment down below and hit the like button because it really does help me out. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok. We recently hit 10,000 followers on TikTok, which is absolutely wild. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.